It seems that the term generative AI is becoming the trend for many large corporations, and this trend isn't slowing anytime soon. In Apple's 2023 keynote, the corporation announced some of the most incredible features and innovative technologies we're about to see in future Apple products. But what I want to talk about is the generative AI factor and Apple. Are we finally about to see generative AI-powered features in Apple technology? Let's find out in today's video. At the 2023 Apple Worldwide Developer Conference, many new features were introduced to keep the public hooked. In this keynote, Apple introduced features regarding their upcoming products, including the iPhone iOS 17, but there were moments when generative AI and its role in Apple's latest technologies were also brought up at the conference. Although the main focus of the conference was to announce the launch of Apple Vision Pro, there were still some AI-powered features discussed. Apple announced that its autocorrect function in the iPhone iOS 17 will be powered by generative AI. Now, autocorrect is a function that predicts the next word in a sentence and even corrects the grammatical mistakes of a user. But imagine how powerful a basic function could be when it is mixed with the intelligence of generative AI. I'm sure you know by now that generative AI is a machine's ability to generate data, and this could allow users to explore more when it comes to writing a sentence. But the feature that I like about this generative AI-powered keyboard is the fact that it will predict sentences for you based on your conversations. So let's say, when you want to communicate with someone, autocorrect will predict sentences based on your previous chats, which is amazing. So that means that if your conversations include a lot of cuss words, then you don't have to worry about the iOS keyboard correcting your cuss words. Now wait till you hear this. Apple also shared about the new feature that we're about to see become part of iOS 17. This feature is known as Journal, and as the name suggests, it will allow users to write journals. But the fun part is that this feature will be powered by an on-device AI. This on-device machine learning will allow your journal to suggest moments to be added to it based on your interests. Journals will intelligently analyze your recent activity, including photos, people, places, and workout routines. And this will be the data that will help that feature suggest moments that you can add to your journal. Now, before you guys freak out regarding the privacy issues, I want to let you know that the journal feature will be end-to-end -end encrypted. Just like I mentioned earlier, this era is indeed a time for generative AI to shine and many organizations have already implemented the use of AI in their platforms. But what held Apple back until now? See, the reason for this is the fact that Apple corporations are based on quality and trust. This is why we don't see Apple rushing to put pieces of technology in their products, but instead taking their time in designing each product. Even though Apple does introduce trending features a bit later than its competitors, such as Samsung, people still prefer to trust Apple products, and the reason behind this is quality. And since generative AI has been in action lately, we can expect that Apple is likely busy working with it and incorporating it into their products. So it's safe to say that generative AI-powered technology is likely to be launched by Apple as well. You will be shocked to hear this. Apple is rumored to be designing an AI-powered health app called Quartz. This app is going to be a paid health coach that will use the power of AI and even data from the Apple Watch to make suggestions and recommendations for its users. This AI-powered health coach is specifically designed to keep its users motivated to live a healthy life by, of course, exercising, improving their eating habits, and also getting better sleep. The aim behind this app is to use AI in a unique way when it comes to servicing humans and even design specific coaching programs for them as well. I am going to let you know that this is a paid program, which means that you are going to be paying a monthly fee to access your health coach. Now, what makes this app incredible is how it uses AI to understand its users better and act efficiently. It is rumored that the Apple Health app will have tools built for tracking emotions and managing vision conditions such as nearsightedness. Sightedness. Not only this, but the app will also be efficient in tracking human emotions, such as mood, analyzing them, and comparing the results over time. Now, Apple aims to make the mood tracker so effective that it'll be able to use algorithms to understand the mood of users based on text, speech, and other data. 
What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that a mood tracker will be able to analyze a user's mood on a bad day? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, let's talk about Apple's voice assistant, Siri, since it has been a major part of Apple products for more than a decade. But within this decade, a lot of other capable voice assistants, like Amazon's Alexa and Google's voice assistant, have become tough competitors for Siri. Corporations like Google and Amazon have incorporated the latest AI technology and made rapid advances advancements in their voice assistants, and this rapid advancement is making people expect more from the pioneer of corporations, Apple. For Siri to keep up with the hype worth more than 10 years by introducing innovative technology, it can be done if Apple chooses to incorporate generative AI, like ChatGPT, to be more capable and efficient at generating accurate content that is much more conversational. This could also allow Siri to understand complex queries better, which is honestly a great thing. I mean, Siri is the most used voice assistant, but there are times when Siri's knowledge falls short. If you ask both Siri and Bing to suggest nearby hotels, Bing's response will be quicker and more versatile than Siri's. Keep in mind that Bing is in fact powered by generative AI, so I think it would be a great thing if Apple actually decided to use generative AI with Siri to keep up with the hype it has created over the years. There were still some improvements to be discussed at Apple's conference, such as the fact that Siri has been updated to handle multiple commands at a time. Now, you can ask Siri to turn the lights on while also asking it to lock your front door. Apple has also removed the need to say, hey Siri, and now you can just say Siri and call it a day, since Siri can be activated with just one wake word. But these improvements fall short when compared to Siri's competitors, Google Assistant and Alexa, so there is plenty of room for improvement for Siri right now. Another thing I think Apple needs to improve with Siri is its natural language processing. The natural language processing of a language refers to the ability of an application to understand and interpret spoken language. By improving its natural language processing capabilities. Siri's efficiency can be increased to its maximum level, as it will be able to respond more accurately and faster. Generative AI is a hot topic at the moment, and is the primary focus of almost all organizations. Despite Apple taking its time in the development and deployment of generative AI-powered technology, it is important to keep in mind that this does create a threat as other corporations like Google and OpenAI are thriving in the field of AI. So this does create a sort of competition for Apple and many other organizations that are not following the trend of incorporating generative AI. I mean, even social media platforms such as Snapchat have made their own generative AI models and incorporated them into their interface. Even TikTok is jumping on the bandwagon and is rumored to be making its own chatbot, so it won't be far-fetched to say that the future will be based on the advancements in the sector of AI. Right now, Apple is indeed missing out on the trend of generative AI, but I am pretty optimistic that we might see some of the most revolutionary products created by Apple. I guess we'll have to wait and watch. If you like today's content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications. Do you think that Apple is still falling far behind other competitors when it comes to the AI arms race? Let us know in the comments below.